Welcome, welcome, guys. How are you? Hello, Anna. Hello, Elisa. Welcome, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening. Are you ready? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the first activity, which is coming from non-defining relative clauses. This is the activity that we were looking at uh, in the previous class. I don't know if you remember. What do you remember about the previous class? We're about to finish Advanced 2, which means you're a step closer to complete your English course. Pay attention to the last topic. Non-defining relative clauses as sentence modifiers. You can use non-defining relative clauses with which to make a comment about an entire sentence. I have three cats, which means there's usually a lot of cat fur on my clothes. My roommate is a slob which is why I want to get my own apartment. Non-defining relative clauses as sentence modifiers. In these relative clauses, the relative pronoun which refers not to a particular noun, but to the whole idea in the main clause. Non-defining relative clauses are always the second clause in a two-clause sentence. Because these clauses are non-defining, they are set off from the main clause by a comma. This type of non-defining relative clause adds information or a comment that applies to the first clause, but it is not essential information. That cannot be used to begin a non-defining relative clause. For example, laptop computers are easy to carry, which is why many people travel with one. People enjoy playing video games, which means new software titles come out all the time. If you notice, these clauses make a comment on the complete sentence as opposed to commenting on just the noun. To finish up, type three sentences using which to make a comment. Okay, who can give me an example uh, that you remember from the previous class using this structure? can give me an example. From the relative clause that you remember from the previous class. Or let's review one more time. Let's review it one more time. We're about to finish advanced two, which means you're a step closer to complete your English course. Pay attention to the last topic. Non-defining relative clauses as sentence modifiers. You can use non-defining relative clauses with which to make a comment about an entire sentence. I have three cats, which means there's usually a lot of cat fur on my clothes. My roommate is a slob, which is why I want to get my own apartment. Non-defining relative clauses as sentence modifiers. In these relative clauses, the relative pronoun which refers not to a particular noun, but to the whole idea in the main clause. Non-defining relative clauses are always the second clause in a two-clause sentence. Because these clauses are non-defining, they are set off from the main clause by a comma. This type of non-defining relative clause adds information or a comment that applies to the first clause, but it is not essential information. That cannot be used to begin a non-defining relative clause. For example, laptop computers are easy to carry, which is why many people travel with one. People enjoy playing video games, which means new software titles come out all the time. If you notice, these clauses make a comment on the complete sentence as opposed to commenting on just the noun. To finish up, Type three sentences using which to make a comment.
Okay, who can give me an example using one of the relative clauses? One example. Using the relative clauses. Anybody? Okay, let's look at some of the examples that are here. Uh, the first one says, I am allergic to rabbit fur, which is why I'm not able to have any rabbits as pets, as a pet. Okay, so this one is pretty good. Uh, look at number two. Sophia gets dizzy when she rides the bus which is why she prefers to walk wherever she goes. Excellent. Uh, let's look at this one. I am allergic to rabbit fur, which is why I'm not able to have any rabbit as a pet. Okay, that's a repeated one. Uh, I work in postal office, which means I am a male woman. Perfect. Who else can give me an example that you remember using the relative clauses? Can somebody else give me another example that you remember? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Carlos. Okay, um, the, my, my, the example of this, um, I exercise every day, okay. which means I wait with early. early. I wake up early, very early, good. Early, yes. Mm -hmm. I wake up early, uh-huh. Only. Okay, very good. Only Carlos, Carlos, good job. Thank you for your example. Uh, can somebody else give me another example, please? Anybody else? Somebody? No? Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and move forward. We're gonna take a look at the next exercise, which is going to be exercise 4.10, knowledge check. Instructions match the statements with the appropriate non-defining clauses. So the first one says, I want to give away all my old books. What is the answer? which means I have to get boxes for them. Number two, I had locked my keys in my car. The answer is, which is why you saw me opening it with a coat hanger. Number two, I'm going to repaint my room next week. And the answer is, which is why I've been saving old newspapers. Number three, my son made a robot costume for himself. And the answer is, which is why he was covered in aluminum foil yesterday. Number five, our neighbor saves her empty jars for my dad, which is great since he uses them to store nails and things in his workroom. Number six, my new cell phone can store and play music. And the answer is, which is great because I can listen to it while um, I'm on the subway. Number seven, it's easy to get lost when driving in a new CD. And the answer is, which is why personal navigation systems were developed for cars. Number eight, Adam still listens to music on an old fashioned record player, which is strange since cassettes and CDs have been around for so long now. All right, any questions about this exercise guys? Questions about this activity? 
No question, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. We're going to move forward. Teacher, sorry. Hi. I have problem in the in the final exam in section C. Okay. In part, gonna... Section okay. C. All right, we're gonna check the final exam right now. Uh, right now, I want you guys to move forward and finish section B. And yes. then we're gonna go section B, section C, D, and E. I would like for you guys to share and to share your answers. And then we will check together. And we'll check section C, Carlos. Okay, teacher. Ready? Yes. Let's, let's do it. Share and compare your answers. You complete platform. Yes, I did. Um... Section B, right? <clears throat> Vamos a hacer la sección B del examen uh -huh. final. <clears throat> in, in dice number one in the future more only course be people with boys. No sé qué es. Shell. Shell. Es que no sé qué significa eso. <risa> horarios, horarios ocupados. Ok. The, The answer is will take. be taken. Take. Yes. Take. The problem take. is take. Will be taken. Y D, nada más va a cambiar. Mm. What? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear you. Eh, el verbo nomás es pasado, taken. Ah, taken. Mm, no es pasado, es will be taken. Porque estamos hablando de un tiempo futuro. Serán tomados. Yo no me he hecho yo. Ah. <laughs> La respuesta es will be taken. Taken. De letra M. El verbo. I wrote that in the chat. Taken. Ah, lo escribí en el chat. Ok. Will be taken.
者王元，王元。The second one is have been downloaded. Yo eh, tengo todo descargado. Así sería la respuesta, verdad. Been... Han sido descargados. Terminamos. Nuestra. Nuestro examen. Final examen. Sí, ya lo finalizamos. Es una pregunta. Okay. Reading. Ah, ok. Reading. Bueno. Okay. <coughs> Siempre me cuesta ah, regresarme aquí. Okay. Okay, Tamaris, congratulations. Finish the exam. Thank you. Congra congratulations for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> A mí me costó la, la letra C. Había una que no la podía contestar. La número tres. Que de la 13 pasa a la 5, pero era el 3. Se está un, un poco complicada de responder. Yes. Yes. It's complicated. Pero, finally, ah, ok. Bye. Bye. All right, who can give me the answer for the first one? What is your answer? Will be taken, teacher. Will be taking. Taking. Will be taking. Good. All right. Oh, taking. E, no. E, oh, e taking. No, teacher. Yes. Taken. Will be taken. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. Thank you. Uh, number two. I can't shut down my computer until all my files have been downloaded. Have been be downloaded. 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 Okay. Number three, these days chat rooms are being used. Are being used by universities to host student discussions. And number four, Sam has been offered. Offer it. has been offered his dream job at an internet farming company. Number five, when I buy a new laptop, my old one will be recycled. Will be recycled. Thank you. Number six, since I, 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 I another another is um answer mm -hmm. is going to be recycled. It's going to be recycled. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. It's going 
to, to be, be recycled. recycled. It's correct. I don't know the the, the, the answer the the um, no sé quién la dio. Disculpe. Okay. La anterior, la anterior. This one has la been offered. No, 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 no. La, la, la respuesta anterior la dio Sandra, creo, ¿verdad? Cuando yo le dije que está como yo, como se lo dije ahorita. Yes, Correct. of course. Yes. Okay, teacher. Sorry. Okay, Sandra. Thank you. Uh, number six, since blogging software became available, millions of blogs have been created. Have been created. Have been created. Perfect. Okay, guys, thank you. Any questions in regards to this exercise? No question, teacher. All right, let's go ahead and move forward. And we're gonna take a look at C, tag questions and reduced relative clauses. I would like for you guys to work in pairs share your answers, and then we are going to check it together as a class. Ready? Let's go ahead, share your answers, and then we will check together. If you have any questions, please raise your hand and I will come help you. Are you ready? Are ready, you ready? Teacher. Ready, teacher. Okay. Yes. All right, yes, all right. Teacher, ready. Okay. Algunas, algunas respuestas. Ay, voy a compartir, voy a compartir pantalla. Ok. Can you see the platform? Eduardo, dime, can, dime. You see? Can, can you see the platform? Yes. Okay, in the, the second, I don't know. I tried uh -huh. the answer, but uh, it's, it's bad. Damari, good evening, Damaris. Good evening. What is that? Ah, uh, what did the answer the number number two? In the chat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Is those not don't. Oh, okay. That's fantastic. Okay, okay. No. Is doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Okay. Yes. That's right. Listen. Um,
Uh, are you finished the part one? Yes. Yes. Juan Eduardo? Sí. Yes. Okay. Yes. In the part two? The number first is a, a person willing to work with sick people could be a good news. And the number two is someone looking for a pay vacation shouldn't be a small business owner. Mm -hmm. I have a problem in that number three. Me too, number I think three. that it is a problem uh, about the platform. Is anyone with a good voice Yes, yeah, that's right. And the last one. Um, Tiene que separar okay. donde dice log two. Yes, that's right. Thanks, Damari. We finish the homework. Okay, guys, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer, please. Exercise number one. 
Let me have one volunteer. Who wants to give me the answer for the first one? It says, it would be great if someone figured out how to. Good in it. Wouldn't it? Very good. Wouldn't it? Okay. Uh, number two, it seems like it, kids spend away too much time playing computer games. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Very good. Doesn't it? And number three, those infomercials on TV are so annoying. Aren't they? Aren't they? Flyers aren't good for advertising. Are they? Are they? Okay. Number five, I hate getting spams. Don't you? Don't you? Very good. Part two, instructions. Rewrite the sentences using reduced relative clauses. Remember to use capital letters and periods. Who can give me the first one? A person who is willing to work with sick people could be a good nurse. What is your answer? Anybody? A person willing to work with sick people could be a good nurse. Could be a good nurse. Very good. Thank you. All right, let's look at number two. Someone who is looking for paid vacations shouldn't be a small business owner. Some looking for paid vacation shouldn't be a small business owner. Excellent. Okay. All right. Uh, what about the next one? Let me share my screen. Number three. Anyone with a good voice is invited to audition for the choir. Choir. Very good. Excellent. Choir. Right here we say choir. All right. Uh, number five, someone who is interested in art history might love to work in a museum. What is your answer? So one interest in our history might love to, love to work in a museum. My love to work in a museum. Excellent. My love in a museum, yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at section D. Go ahead and share your answers with your partners. And then we're going to check together. We're going to change groups. Let's go. Change groups.
What happened? <laughs> Hello. Hi, Claudia. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Have you finished section D? Yes, I finished. Finished. Yes. Okay. Los leemos. Mm, sorry, what? Los leemos, le digo. Mm, sí, sí, podemos compartir las respuestas. Uh -huh. uh, number one, people who work for pencil must be disciplined. Yes. Number two, it takes originality to be a designer. Number three, I admire Tom. He is passionate about what he does. Number four, a technology company must be innovative, innovative to survive. Decisiveness is a must if you want to be a manager. The number six, teaching requires a lot of pertinence. Part two, number one, choosing a career path involves exploring all the possibilities. Number two, Jan's job requires her to analyze information and report on, on it. Number three, everything was a mean. You know, the manager finally solved the problem. Number four, in accounting, it can be expensive, expensive to make even the smallest mistake. Number five, sometimes it's easier to find solutions to problems on your own. Your seat, a graphic artist generally makes information visual. Okay, we finished. <laughs> Good job. Good job, guys. Okay, welcome back, guys. Who would like to give me the first answer for the first one? Who wants to give me the first one? Number one. Read the answer. Choose the word that best completes each sentence. People who work for themselves must be disciplined. 
Very good. Must be disciplined. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Gloria. Number two. It takes originality to be a designer. It takes originality to be a designer. Good. Good. Number three. Number three. Me teacher. Yes. I am Adam Tom. He is passionate about what he does. Very good. I admire Tom. He is passionate about what he does. Good job, Elisa. Number four, another volunteer. Number four, another volunteer. A technology company must be innovative to survive. Innovative to survive. Innovative to survive. In yes. Innovative, very good. All right, that is number four. Number five. Somebody else. Number five, somebody else. Number five. Decide, decide, finish is a must if you want to be a manager. Excellent. Decisiveness is a must if you want to be a manager. Good. All right. Number six. Teaching requires a lot of patents. Teaching requires a lot of patience. Very good. All right, that is part one. Let's go ahead and move forward and we're gonna be looking at part two. Instructions, choose the word that best completes each sentence. Who wants to do the first one? Choosing a career path involves Exploring. Exploring all possibilities. Oh, Jen's job requires her to analyze. Analyze. Analyze information and report on it. Number three, everything was a mess until the managers finally solved, solved. solved the problem. It, number four, in accounting, it can be expensive to make, make, make even the smallest mistake. Number five, sometimes it's easier to find. find. And number six, a graphic artist generally make. makes information visual visually excellent any questions in regards to this exercise questions in regards to this exercise okay let's go ahead and look at the last one which is going to be reading i would like for you to share and compare your responses and then we will check together. Ready, let's go.
Hello. Lo leemos. The first. Okay. I am so fed up with the MP3 player with the teeny headphone. You can see I am sick of three to talk to someone and getting a black stare. Won't will be great. It it talks things were managed at war and school. <clears throat> I continue. And I hate those wireless headsets for cell phones. Don't you? I mean when you're walking on the street and a stranger speaks as he passes you. Don't you say what? Only to realize he was talking on the phone. Then he looks at you like you're crazy. And the number three, do you read, please? Yes. And I can't stand washing people text messaging. Don't they know that is worth take three seconds to say that they are tipping. It's crazy, is it? Okay. The first <clears throat> the first question is Brett Hayes talking to people using MP3 players? True or false? True. Do you read number two? Brent thinks that people who use wireless yet head, headsets look like they are talking to themselves. La última palabra que significa, Elizabeth. Ellos mismos. Ah. O sea, ellos habla, hablando como ellos solos o como ellos mismos. Mm. Mm -hmm. Entonces, sí. Sí, dice, three, two. Number three, Brad loves wireless headsets is false. Number four, do you read? Excuse me, repeat the number three. The number three? Okay. Yes. Brent loves wireless headsets. False. Yo pensé que era true, porque pensé que era verdad, porque está hablando que le gustan mucho. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> no, porque dice, ah, and I hate, hate those wireless headsets too. Cell phones, don't, don't you? For us, for us. In number four. Four balls. Okay. Read the next part two. The first you la dama primero <laughs> okay <laughs> crafts aren't just for grandmothers anymore were winners nighting and swing swimming used to be to work of family woman 
No, women. Young people everywhere are talking up crafts as a way to express themselves. Create cravely and to take a stand again against most consume consumers consumers. Another way you'll see fashionable dress young men and women. Gate gathering at cafes to sip coffee and night together. In other words, craft have become cool. The popular website crafter put org o -R -G, is a great resource for those who love to make things and people from all are over the world post photos in their craft often with set be set instruction for other there are also thousands of blogs that future photographs of handmade items blog be the people who may think and tips and resource for crafters. These craft blogs were stated by mostly young women, but also some men who wanted to share to share creative ideas with a winter audience audience they cover every con conce conceivable type of craft from hand sewn clothing and paper making and cooking behind it to ami amigurumi japanese night doors to lamp making many of blogs have a large read, readership and on any given day some blogs attract hundreds of comments from readers our grandmother and great grandmother never world have dreamed that they all fashioning skills will be showcased be fashioning your people on the internet oh <laughs> and <laughs> number one making craft has become popular among fashionable young people. Okay, number two. Okay. On crafter.org, people can learn who to make craft. Okay, number three. Craft blogs are becoming popular for sharing create, create ideas with others. Number four, like making craft, both men and, una pregunta is, is woman or woman? Is women. Is plural. Women. Y, uh, women. Is plural. Y woman is singular. Ah, sí, ahí sí la, la vi mencionar así. ¿Cómo me dice? Women. 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 Ah, Aunque okay. dice woman. 
es, son women. Sí, yes. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. Ok. Finish, congratulations. <risa> y ya tiene listos los papeles para el próximo, ¿no? Todavía no. Hoy vi que lo mandaron. Ahora lo mandaron. Sí, sí para, para el siguiente. Chat. Y hay que poner que con uno confirma para continuar. ¿o? Ajá, sí. Uh -huh, para que lo confirme. Ah, pues ya solo terminamos la clase y lo voy a enviar porque no he revisado el chat porque he estado bien ocupada. Y ahí tengo varios, te he visto, pero no los he visto así detenidamente. Pero gracias, gracias. Sí, ya Yo lo voy a ver. Ya, no, ya no iban a seguir con eso que decían que pues, quien se fue le va a desaparecer, pero sí. ¡Ah! Sí, están preguntando. Y no, no sabía que. Lo, que... Yo creí que como iba a pagar el fin de año, dije que quizás ya no lo, o sea, no nos lo iban a dar en este fin de, en esos días que faltan. No lo alcanzábamos a terminar, pero, sí. no, pero si sí queremos seguir. <risa> bueno. Sí. bueno. Ok, guys, who wants to read the first paragraph? Who wants to read the first part? Let me have one volunteer. Read this paragraph. One volunteer. All right, go ahead, Elizabeth. Okay. <clears throat> I'm so fed up with the MP3 players with the teeny headphones. You can't see. I'm sick of the of trying to talk to someone and getting a blank share. Stake. Stare. Stare. Good stare. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be great if those things were, were banned at work and school? Perfect. Thank you, Elizabeth. All right. One more. I want you to read this part. One more. Another volunteer. Somebody. And I. Okay. And I hate. And I hate those wireless. Wireless. And wireless headsets for cell phones. Don't you? I mean, when you're walking on the street and is a stranger speaks as he. Passes you, don't you say what? Only to realize he was talking on the phone. Then he looks at you like you're crazy. <laughs> Very good. All right. And the last one. Another volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay. Go ahead, Juan. And I... And I can't stand watching people text messaging. Don't they know that it will take three seconds to say what they are tipping? Typing. It's crazy. Isn't it? Isn't it? Very good. Okay. All right, guys. Time is up. We're going to stop right here. Please continue working on the platform. And I will see you back tomorrow. Okay, night, guys. Good night, Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.